Okay, it's time to think about water. And more specifically, the ionic product of water. It's important, it's our flagship if you like, our standard. Now at 25 degrees Celsius, it's quite important to keep that temperature constant, water forms these ions. H3O plus OH minus. And there's been lots of electrochemical experiments have shown that the concentration of your H3O plus ion is 1 times 10 to the minus 7. And there's no shock here, the OH minus concentration is exactly the same, 1 times 10 to the minus 7. Now if you bring these two together, you've got a value of Kw. Bring them together, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, the ionic product of water. Now that is a tiny number, 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So it's no surprise here that we want to make our lives a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is bring in logs. Logs have been invented to make our lives an awful lot easier. And I need PKW. And PKW is equal to minus log to the base 10 of KW. Now I'd like to think, looking at this value, you have a pretty good idea what PKW is going to be if you log in that. It will be 14. Now what that means is, thinking about this, you take 1 times 10 to the minus 7, and you log it, take off the minus, what do you end up with? 7. OH minus, do exactly the same thing, 7. And this is one of the reasons why, when you're dealing with the pH of pure water, at 25 degrees Celsius, that's quite important, the pH, everybody knows, is 7. But that also means that the pOH will also be 7. There is a link between pKW and pH. Right. Now bearing that in mind, here's another handy little tip. Go into any appendix of any chemistry textbook and you will see Ka and Kb and pKa and pKb. These are dissociation constants for weak acids and weak bases because they're complicated, they don't fully dissociate. A stands for acid, B stands for base. And when you see these numbers, just like KW, you can get a, a really wide spread. You can get really, really tiny numbers and maybe some larger numbers as well. But to make life easier, we decide to use logs. So if we log Ka, we'll get the pKa. And the formula is dead easy. pKa equals minus log to the base 10 of your Ka value. In the same way that pKb will equal minus log to the base 10 of your Kb value. Easy. And the relationship's quite handy. We know that pKw is 14 for pure water at 25 degrees Celsius. And all things being equal, pKa plus pKb will equal pKw. This makes life a lot easier. For example, if I wanted to calculate the pKb and I knew the pKa was, say, 4, I know that pKw is 14, so 14 minus 4 would mean the pKw would be 10. Very handy relationship. 